Hey, hey, I'm Chris Robin, a.k.a. at Detroit Beastie, here with Team Rise or Fall to talk about Beastie's Boomers for Tuesday, May 10th. In all seriousness, there's nowhere to go but up after last night. Stick around, I'll be right back. Hey, hello, and we are back. Thanks for being here once again. I am Chris Robin, a.k.a. at Detroit Beastie, here with Team Riser Fall for another MLB DFS video. And, and before I get into everything, last night was, I don't know what to say anymore. You know, that San Diego in my stacks put up zero runs. And so I, I woke up this morning and I have a few options. Can I quit? Can I take the day off? Can I tell folks I stink? I'm sorry. I guess in the life of a sports better or a DFS player, uh, we're going to have this. Just granted, this is a prolonged kind of uh, DFS stump, slump, right, uh, for, for my one stack. It hasn't fared very well, but I'm telling you, the scoring is down. There's only so much I can do. There's only so much we can do. And as the summer turns, as the spring turns into summer, scoring will pick up. We'll, I'll get back on, on a better beat, and we'll see what we can do. In the meantime, uh, thanks for being here, rocking with me. I like to think if my DFS picks stink, which I'm not used to, not to not to sound like, a, uh, like an egomaniac or anything, but... But right now, it's a, what do we do? Not quitting, not taking the day off. So we refine the process or we, we look at, at some, uh, we keep it simple. That's what I'm getting at. Keep it simple, target bad pitchers, look at, at good parks, look for good weather, things along those lines here. But I'm saying it now. Thanks for being here. And again, if the videos stink, at least I, I, I to be fair, I'd like to think, you know, I have a good, uh, a good speaking voice. So I'm trying to pick out small little nonsense things to kind of get me over the hump because confidence right now is uh it, it's whoop it's as low as it gets when it comes to the, the the mlb dfs stuff but i'm telling you here you know the setback is a setback but the comeback is always better than everything else before i get into my stack and i'll make it quick because again you should probably do the opposite but all jokes aside make sure you go to team riser fall like share subscribe use promo code beastie when you get there because there's still a hockey uh dfs to be played you know stanley cup hot pucking stacks is uh, it, is on fire. That's what's shocking to me. The hockey con DFS content is like out of this world, like to the goal, to the final score, uh, like seriously like that. And then when we get to baseball, my one stack is... It's crap, but I'm telling you now, go to Team Riser Fall. We got NBA pre-lock stuff. We got golf, uh, NASCAR, everything you need here from a DFS site. Use promo code BEASTIE and boom, we're off and running. Let's talk baseball. I'm going to go right to Washington, you know, to see that the New York Mets are in town to take on the Washington Nationals uh, tonight here. And when you look at this one, 705 first pitch, uh, the weather, it's pretty good, 64, 65 degrees. We have like an eight mile an hour wind coming down second base, like right to the, the third base, uh, between third base and home plate right there. It's only eight mile an hour, nothing crazy. The Mets. 20 and 10, and the Washington Nationals, the exact opposite, 10 and 20 here. And when we look at this one from a pitching standpoint, from a sports betting standpoint, it, I, I believe uh, Patrick Corbin, the Southpaw, is going to be pitching for the Washington tonight. He's 0 and, 0 and 5, 716 ERA. I mean, if we're going to target a, a bad pitcher, not saying Corbin is awful through his career, but this season he's failed to live up uh, to that massive contract that the Washington Nationals gave him. Last time he pitched, he gave gave up five runs. Only three of them were earned. And he lasted eight innings. I mean, that's cool. He's he's just eating up innings. But I like that for tonight. Let's say, you know, Nationals, that their bullpen is, is it, do we have enough room to get other guys in here? So I could see a case where the Mets are ju just pour it on, hopefully, five, six runs, and they just leave them in there. Because the, why, why burn a bullpen when we have more games to go uh, in the future here? Nothing to lose. So give me the Mets uh, in this one. And uh, let's start off with with the, the number one leadoff hitter uh, from this, this game here. And it looks to be Brandon Nemo uh, starting in center field for the Mets here. Uh, Left-handed bat, uh, Nemo, 2-9 on FanDuel, only 4-8 on DraftKings. And when you look at Nemo, 16 runs, 9 RBI, 3 bombs, 17 bases on balls. He, he, he flutters through the lineup here, but hopefully he leads off this evening. And, <clears throat> excuse me. 
and that would be uh, fantastic. 427 slugging, 393 on base. And when we go down the list here, let's go to the two spot, Mark Canna. This guy's been, I, I don't want to say a pleasant surprise because Mark Canna's always been that guy. He won't hurt your team uh, and he's not going to like really screw up your lineups, whether it's seasonal or DFS here. Mark Canna, 2 6 on Fandle, 2 7 on DraftKings, 7 run runs, 9 RBIs, 1 bomb, 7 bases on balls. He's more of an of a average guy. He'll get on base. Base, and then he lets his teammates pick him up from there. 311 average, 365 slugging on base is around 381 here. And we go to the three spot starting uh, shortstop, Francisco Lindor, switch hitter. 3-5 on FanDuel, 5-1 on DraftKings. Lindor, 17 runs, 18 RBI, 5 home runs, 3 stolen bases, and he's taken 12 walks here in this one. As I said, 419 slugging, 329 average. Can't go wrong with Lindor in the 3 spot tonight. And to, to tie this thing up in a bow, hopefully all 3 of the guys I, I just mentioned get on base, and then boom, Pete Alonso hits that bomb here. Pete Alonso tonight, 3-8 on FanDuel, 4-8 on DraftKings, starting first baseman, the polar bear. What more can I I say uh, Pete Alonso, 18 runs, 26 RBI, seven dingers, taking seven uh, bases on balls. He struck out 29 times, but that's what you're going to get. You know, Pete Alonso, 276 average and a 500 slugging percentage. I like his chances here uh, this evening. Quick recap uh, in the first spot, leading off center field, Brandon Nemo. In the two spot, Mark Canna, only 2,600 bucks on FanDuel. In the three hole, starting shortstop, Francisco Lindor. And then in the, 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 the four spot, the cleanup batter, the polar bear, Pete Alonso. I have the final score. Uh, l- let's just call it what it is. It's uh, at this moment in time, you know, I'm not trying to say outlandish stuff, but maybe in a superstitious kind of way, giving out a final score could work against me. Giving out a final score could move things in the right direction. I don't know, but I'm looking down here uh, at my notes. I think the New York Mets hang six or seven runs here. Uh, they beat Washington, and Washington hangs in this one. I'm looking at a final score of about seven to four here. So to be fair, you could stack this game up however you'd like. I'm sticking with the New York Mets and you should stick here with Team Rise or Fall. Go to the website, like, share, subscribe the video. Uh, and we're going to get, I will get off the schneid sooner or later. I promise you. Not giving up, not quitting. When you get to the site, use promo code Beastie and I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully after the Mets hang, hang more, more than four or five runs in this one. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.